I am now currently in Madrid, Spain. Always like to update you when the background changes. Next, I'm going to Amsterdam and then London after that. Again, your messages and DMs have helped out a lot. I even got to meet a couple of you guys. I'm definitely enjoying Spain a lot. It reminds me a lot of home. Just the weather is less freezing. Breaking! German embassy in Kiev hit by Russian strikes. And here is Germany excited at the opportunity to start another world war. And they're actually going to have the British, French, and Americans on their side. Maybe now they'll finally get their dub. When a Russian missile hits your embassy in Kiev and you can finally have your revenge after 77 years. Happy Bavarian noises. And all after they just celebrated Oktoberfest. I think they're ready to go. Russia! Missile strikes German embassy. Then we have NATO Article 5 here showing up. And man, it's looking better than ever. Just look at that drip. Kim Jong-un when he doesn't do a background check on the chef that prepares his meals. Wait a second, I think this is assuming Kim Jong-un is going to heaven though. He must have like a team of a hundred people that are constantly checking his meals. He's gotta be doing whatever Castro did in Cuba. Something tastes funny. Brazil giving Apple a $20 million fine all for selling phones without chargers. Apple's been shooting themselves in the foot a lot, haven't they? Or I guess in this case, in the head. They also had to pay the EU recently, although they cut that down a little. The only thing I wonder is really 20 million that much for Apple at all? They're worth 2.2 trillion. Imagine spending 1,500 on this just to play here. <laughs> oh, you don't want to play with totally not a lizard Mark Zuckerberg right next to fake Eiffel Tower and whatever this is supposed to be. Every day I feel like Meta's getting closer and closer to complete collapse. In English, we say 90 plus 9. Yeah, that makes sense. In German, they say 9 plus 90. Yeah, I can see that too. In French, they say 4 times 20 plus 10 plus 9. What the f I recently covered this last week and had a TikTok go kind of viral about this subject. I'm just going to assume Denmark price says it a little bit weird too. But let's see once again how the French say it. 99. Yeah, that's just too much. 99. I'm not trying to pronounce an entire essay for two digits. Engineers, autonomous vehicles are ready for the road. Meanwhile, Ethiopian intersections. I guess we can add Ethiopia to the list of places that are pretty crazy to drive in. I know India and a couple other East Asian nations could probably make it too. Does this mean they're just better drivers over there than us? I mean, I'm not seeing a single accident over here. A movie being shot in Warsaw today. The random tourists that had no idea about the shooting. Whoa, 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 what is going on here? Did I just accidentally get into a time machine? Or did Germany get angry and invade Poland again? I'm I'm actually just surprised they're even allowing this. Dogs after hearing good boy. Cats after hearing <laughs> birds after hearing plots against the government. All I'm trying to say is no one remembers seeing a bird back in 1972. And now we're supposed to believe that they're just everywhere in 2022? I don't think so. Mad Pack on the way to Ukraine to find out what distance of a nuclear blast best cooks a frozen pizza. And he would be the one to do it. He's very committed to his YouTube channel. If you think about it, during a nuclear explosion, there's a certain distance of radius where all the frozen supermarket pizzas are cooked to perfection. Yeah, this has been like a little meme for a while. Me runs to the grocery store to get a frozen pizza. Mom, what are you doing? We just got nuclear bomb threats. Also me. You just wouldn't get it. It's very important that we find this out. I don't want to live another day until I know what happens. New York City MFers eating good tonight. And there's just so many of these running around. That's why they're always eating good in Manhattan. I wonder what New York is doing to fix their rodent problem. What if we just unleash like 50,000 cats? Currently, New York City is spending 4.9 million, which was way more than last year. So they they are upgrading. The first Italian-Ethiopian war be like, hey, you'd be surprised at just how powerful the nation of Ethiopia is. Not only do they have like the world's most perfect drivers, but they can also just take down tanks. Like every single human being has this special ability. What a beautiful singer. I wonder who her grandfather was. So automatically, because they're drawing attention to this, I'm thinking the big three, the big three of the 30s and 40s. I'm gonna just assume it's not Hilter because this would have been way more widely known of information. And she's singing about Tokyo. Who was the other allied to Tokyo that wasn't Germany. Don't tell me her grandfather was this man, wasn't it? Song is Tokyo Fantasy in 1982 and I gotta admit, this kind of slaps. <laughs> Oh, it's literally right there in her name. I think I just found a new theme song for Italy. Learning your first language, small brain. Learning your second language, big brain. Commenting stuff on the internet with the second language. Commenting with your first language so English speakers will only perish in curiosity. Now that's the greatest way to troll us Americans. Especially when there are extra replies in that same language and they look like they're having so much fun. I'm getting FOMO just thinking about it. British food is bland and disgusting. Bacon buddy, fish and chips, toad in a hole, shepherd's pie. Beef pie. And finally, the most epic mac and cheese. No, please don't tell me it's true. Yep, the first modern recipe of mac and cheese came from this book, The Experienced English Housekeeper. Oh my god, I think I need to lay down. I'm not ready for this. I love how just the nature of this meme, because the SpongeBob episode is showing all these like weird, gross, smelly things. It doesn't do the food justice, it makes it look 
bad. Okay, beef pie is, I mean, come on. I don't think we needed to include that. Here's another famous dish in this country, and this actually looks incredible. Uses metric system. Uses metric system. Both of these countries also uses metric system. Also metric system. Even these two use metric system, although France is crying about it. Meanwhile, has won every single Super Bowl to date. There we go, America. Who needs the metric system when we win the Super Bowl every year, even if it's not possible for other countries to participate in that? I'm really surprised the punchline wasn't has been to the moon. I feel like I've seen that one before. OMG dream, I love you. Love from Romania. Wait, you're really Romanian? Oh my god, yes. Get blocked. Hungry is best. Then dream goes on to speak perfect Hungarian, whatever this is saying. Had no idea dream was such a proud Hungarian man. This must be what all that controversy is about him recently. Which US president are you? I love these filters. Uh, yeah, let's... Let's no longer drive around in a convertible automobile if uh, that's the closest president you are. JFK did not do too well in these cars. And if for some reason you use this filter and you get Abe Lincoln, do not go to a play. The unemployed friend at 1 p.m. on a Wednesday. It's always the unemployed friend doing the craziest of adventures. Guess it's better he does this than try to lead a fascist government in Germany. Imagine trying not to laugh inside the Trojan horse. Then your homie looks at you like this. Oh yeah, we definitely getting caught. I'm gonna let out the loudest cackle. When you put it like this, how did they stay so quiet in that wooden horse for so long? I mean, they were all, I'm assuming, just chilling up there in their armor. They gotta be ready to go at any time. But man, talk about the hardest try not to laugh challenge. You laugh just once, and then all these people come after you, and they try to stab you. And they had to go at least like 12 hours or something. They had to go to the middle of the night when everyone was asleep. I'd be like, bro, please just don't look at me. Do not look at me. 90% of guys daydreaming is spent mentally preparing for this exact scenario. I feel like I've only talked about my ridiculous fear of bears maybe like three times in three different videos ever and yet for some reason everyone knows it and I'm always getting tagged and stuff like this but yes it's true I am constantly preparing for this moment like yeah I might be on the fifth story of this building right now but have you seen how well grizzlies can climb I don't want to take any risks Americans when they drive for four hours versus Europeans when they drive for four hours okay to be fair it is either this because they're on the western side of the US or it's just this because they're on the eastern side of the US but yeah I totally get what this meme is trying to say now I've taken three planes each like two hours long and yet I've shown up in vastly different places like it was some sort of video game when you're enjoying your meal and suddenly get x-ray powers man is it that easy to become spider-man maybe the world ending isn't so bad after all ew Indians eat with their hands ew how do you eat pizza and for that matter hamburgers and fries and chicken tendies it's more weird to me when certain cultures have no foods where they're allowed to eat with their hands I'm not sure if there is a single one like that but if that was the case that'd be a little strange I feel like you just need the best of both worlds. Sometimes eat with your hands, sometimes not. Europeans be like, slice bread? Nah. Give me that bread that looks like a brick. And they are just completely obsessed with it too. Man, I don't really even care. Bread is bread. I don't even need toppings. Just give it to me raw. The four horsemen of wanting to learn something interesting. Obviously oversimplified. Obviously Curse Kazat. Obviously CGP Grey. And finally the man, the myth, the legend. He's just returned to Sam Onella. What's the point of even going to public school anymore to sit at home and watch YouTube videos? <laughs> I honestly wish I could have done that as a kid. What Russia's telling you, we are the world's largest country, third largest military power, and we control Europe with gas and oil. Versus what Russia isn't telling you, stupid California has GDP two times bigger than us. Spain, Italy, Texas, and New York each have the same GDP as us. Dumb island of Java has more people than us. The island of Java really does? I know it's in Indonesia, and Indonesia has a lot of people. Whenever I think of the word Java, I just think of Minecraft now. And this isn't even Indonesia's biggest island either. How is this possible? 145 million? Oh, so it just barely beats out Russia, but that's still something. Especially considering that wasn't Indonesia's full population either, just a single island. For some reason, I've known this for years. Someone told me a long time ago that Russia's GDP is the same as Spain's. And ever since then, I just couldn't get out of my head. When everybody keeps comparing Putin to Hilter, but totally forgets about you. I mean, I feel like this would be the logical comparison just because, you know, Russia, Soviet Union. Everyone often forgets Stalin here. When a Canadian cusses you out, so cute, versus when when a German greets you in their mother tongue. It always just sounds so aggressive. I actually feel like I might be in danger. Some languages just have the special ability. I feel like Russian is similar. POV, you're Asian and your parents just learned that your blood type is B plus and not A plus. Well, 
I guess you're no longer part of this family anymore. My parents always told me I just had to get a B in every subject. I can't imagine trying to get an A. My brain was just way too smooth. It sounds like a good thing. It's a bad thing. Russia hits German embassy with missile. Meanwhile, Germany. Oh, y y you want some of this? Might as well turn it into a trilogy. I mean, technically, if you think about it, they're both one and one as of the last, like, 120 years. Russia obviously got the dub during WWE 2, but then Germany kind of got the dub over Russia in WWE 1. So they're tied. I, I don't know if we should be asking for a part three. Probably a bad idea, but it would be nice to just, you know, put a little bow on it. Just kidding, don't, please. Oh, look! Friends about to swim in a pool. I hope nothing goes wrong here. This music video literally traumatized me as a kid. And yet here I am 10 years later and it's honestly still one of my favorite songs. <laughs> I think the trauma like helped that. Marvel fans in 2097 when they need to watch 300 movies and shows to figure out why Spider-Man ate cereal on Monday. You know how people do like weekend long viewings of Harry Potter or even like the extended Lord of the Rings? In the future these kids are going to have to do like year long viewings. It's just getting so bloated. Let's never forget Keanu Reeves has rejected six millionaire contracts with Marvel but didn't turn down a request to participate in the Spongebob movie. <laughs> What a legend. I mean, I would choose Spongebob too in this situation. Who's left a more lasting impact? I mean, I can't tell you how many dumb Spongebob quotes are still stuck in my head. China constantly threatening Taiwan. North Korea is tossing missiles over Japan. Iran is having a revolution. And to top it off, we have the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Are we all literally the dog with everything on fire? Like, this is fine. I'm so used to things being cursed now. It'd be really weird if things were going well. Hello, my name is Mark. Europeans, uh, nice to meet you, Mark. As they try to jam it into their brain that's kind of already full of other things. Hey Daniel, did you know America's ranked 11th in terms of healthcare? First in maternity mortality. It's just like all these bad. Thank you. I appreciate you for letting us know that. I always know where to turn to when I need these facts. Russia losing over 60,000 soldiers in less than eight months. Meanwhile, the USA losing 58,000 soldiers in Vietnam. Over 20 years? I guess technically it was over 20. It's like it started in 55, ended about 20 years later. I'm afraid to figure out what the numbers are going to end up being. Russia bombs German embassy. Who destroyed? disturbs my slumber. Feels though Germany is still waking up from their slumber, but once they get there, it's gonna be hard to put them back to sleep. Four-year-old me, here's the special drink I made for you. My dad on his fifth glass of Coca-Cola ketchup juice smoothie. <laughs> It's like, please, no more. I swear the worst thing ever is just milk and orange juice. That's it. You just need those two combinations to create the worst liquid known to man. I used to force my friends to drink that all the time. And big thanks to why am I doing $20 this? $20 is a lot, a Drew. A fat Norwal. Drew's Argentinian Bring grandpa. Chris3773. Danny, thy Good old I stole Drew's pet Jekov, dog. Bruni. Luxembourg. Nation at risk. Dortman. Fresh animations. E. Ronjay. The Pie. The Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Twicken. Hamsen. Zany Boy. 